What up, guys? I made a friend. He's German. Uh, how you turn on the lights? Uh, oh, may I present to you Italia. And then this is a one dollar bill. That's insane. <laughs> like Monopoly. Monopoly money? Yeah. What is going on, guys? Sandy back with another banker. Basically what we're doing today is we're boarding a flight to Amsterdam and then from Amsterdam to Turin. It's a 14 hour flight. I'm trying to be reasonably loud because there's a lot of people on this flight. We're gonna see how pretty this plane is because last time I flew to Qatar, it was 18 hours. We're gonna be in Italy. Get excited because I'm gonna be vlogging again. Might be a little sweaty because because I just sweat a lot. Hi there, welcome. 11 D. 11 D, which is over here. Oh, those are the fancy ones. Jeez, nice. To the right. Sorry. And these are the mid spits ones. These are kind of nice though. These are kind of sick. They're like big. Now I know what to expect. Oh, they got nice leg room, little pillow, little pajamas. What is that? Oh, a blanket. Thank you. I got my thing situated. I got a soda, a water. Neck pillow. I didn't know they gave you a pillow, so I brought a neck pillow. But they give you a pillow, they give you all the chargers necessary. And then this one, you can lean your seat back. Hello, leg room. The seats up there, though, those right there, those are 10 bands each. The comfort ones are 2K. This one was 2000 and then the ones all the way back there were like 1200 So I think this shit's a steal. What is going on guys? We've been in the air for seven hours. I'm sorry I haven't been vlogging a lot, but I just feel like the dude next to me feels uncomfortable with me vlogging because he keeps going like this and like this. I went through the normal seats, which are 1200 bucks, and a lot of people have a whole row to themselves. So they're like just slumped, like, like on all three seats. I will be vlogging a lot of Italy, so make sure you subscribe, stay tuned, because this is the first time that a Mexican will ever go to Italy, ever. Didn't document it ever. So it's basically like Christopher Columbus coming to America, but a Mexican going to Italy. So stay tuned, grab some popcorn, grab some, uh, fuck it, some edibles, lay back, relax, and watch me enjoy Italy for us. Ah, the shake method. We made it to motherfucking Amsterdam. If you've never seen what Amsterdam looks like, this is what Amsterdam. Look at that, Amsterdam. Do Mesut Mesut Osiu? Mesut Osiu? Mo Vivi? Woo Mo Shout out to Houston. Shout out to Houston Rockets. Are you serious right now, bro? I'm a little out of breath because I'm trying to find this gate because I want to make sure that I know where I'm going. This is a solo man mission. I stole their mini pillow that they gave me. Oh, fuck. I forgot the face glasses shit. They're, oh, they don't have nothing like this in the in uh, America. <laughs> Europe shit. Shh, exclusive shit. Dutch food gifts. This fucking airport is sick. I was walking, but I had to show you guys this. What the fuck are you looking at? This airport is sick. Look how far this is. It's like a little shopping center. I also noticed that there's like a bunch of different languages being spoken. I've heard French. I've heard Arabic. I've heard Spanish. I've heard English. Oh, this is where I really need to be at. Sheesh, calling my name. Sheesh. What up, guys? I made a friend. What's your name, buddy? Uh, Matus. Matus. Like the, like the midfielder? Like the German midfielder? Matus? No. Different? No. Spelled differently? Yes, he's German. We bumped into him in line and I told him I was a YouTuber and he was like, is it successful or is it kind of just starting? And now he's going to see himself on the vlog. So Matus, nice to meet you, buddy. Best of luck to you in life. He has a girlfriend, ladies, so please don't hit him up. Thank you. Where, where, where are you headed? Back to Germany? Yeah, yeah, back to Germany. See, yeah. and where? Hamburg. Shout out Hamburger. 
Shout out hamburger. Let's see if we hit the strip club and whatnot. We'll see you in a bit. Am I tripping or do they not do this in American airports? They just got like beers and shit. Like you go walk around the airport with a beer. Like you just have a fucking Heineken, like a little brewski in your hand and walk around. Should I do it? Nah, it's too early. It's 8 a.m. I'd probably be a degenerate if I walked around with a brewski at 8 a.m. in the next plane this one is only gonna be an hour and 40 minutes and then i will be in turin italy it's cold as fuck i'm not gonna lie so by the way i also messed up my foot playing soccer so like i'm a little injured right now like when i walk on my foot like my ankle hurts i'll see you when we're inside it's like that bro we're officially in italia <laughs> You're chilling. That almost would have been a lit clip. Damn, are those military men? Yeah. They're like retired. No military men. At ease. At ease, soldier. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived to the Sani estate. Room 808. Metro! We walk in. Boom. You're greeted by a ginormous closet. Okay, by the way, the new Portofa hat. I don't know if you ever seen this before ever in your life. Big old closet. This is where we stand at for the next four nights. Need me. Oof. Need me a big old closet. What is this? Big old shoe rack. Okay. Fancy schmancy. I haven't even seen the restroom. Uh, how you turn on the light? Uh, oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is it like motion sensor or what's the what's the fucking vibe? Why is there a phone here? Where's the where's the lights at? Man, I don't know, but this shit is beautiful. This shit is beautiful. Personal shit up of a day? We're gonna have to try that shit out. Definitely a little flick. Here you can see the Portify hat a little better right here. Unreleased Portify hat. Only person in the world with it on right now. Okay, this is my living room right here. A little living room with a TV, a desk, some snacks. Big old bed, boom. Big old headrest, boom. Nightstand, nightstand. And ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you, Italia. That is the beautiful city that I will be exploring for the next couple days. First and foremost, I want to thank God for the opportunity. And second, I want to thank you for putting me in a place where I can come visit places like these. This is so random. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff today. The basis of this was just to show you a little vlog of me arriving, a little vlog of me getting here, getting ready, getting fresh. And then today, I'm going to have to be buying my, uh, my outfit because I'm going to a birthday party. Today, I will be going shopping in Italy for the first time ever get hype ladies and gentlemen clap for me clap for me i will be dropping a bag in italy for the first time i don't know what i'm gonna buy it is my friend sabrina's birthday i met her in qatar while i was out there for the world cup she was super cool she invited me to a couple of the games she gave me free tickets to a world cup quarterfinal or semifinal i forgot and when she invited me to her birthday i was like yeah bro it's italy i could pop out i can make some vlogs but yes we gotta get some drip because there's a lot of cool people that are gonna be there there's gonna be some italians there there's gonna be some like french people there and i feel like french people be throwing that shit on as a young mexican entrepreneur i feel like i gotta put something that's gonna be like damn damn who that dude that way when i have some drip on you know they come ask me where i'm from and all that stuff and then i introduce myself as santa underscore but anyways without further yapping let's get ready for my first day in italy that's swiss fries and then this is a one dollar bill that's insane. <laughs> oh my god. What does it look like? <laughs> like fake for the play. <laughs> so like Monopoly. Monopoly money? Yeah. I'm putting them on the society that's snow right now. Plus like it's a hundred dollars. Like what the hell? What did it say on there? In God what? In God we trust. I'll go like this. <laughs> And then there's this one that's kind of rare. It's a $2 bill. 
A two dollar bill. Two dollar bill. You know we have coins for that. Two dollar coins? Yes. Yeah. Y'all have the same currency? No. Just Swiss francs and euros. But I have mine. Yes. You have two thousand Swiss francs bills. So I'm rich in Switzerland. <laughs> and then I was looking at the euro because I grabbed some at the airport just so I would have cash. But basically we're here at a restaurant where my friend Sabrina nos trajo a comer pasta. And I've been just walking around but I wasn't really filming because I wanted to look at it with my own two eyes before you. But right now we're gonna go get my fit for her birthday on the 27th. And then her birthday is the next day, so. <laughs> I gotta go buy a ski outfit. I've never worn ski stuff. I've never been anywhere in the snow. But her birthday is ski themed. So let's go see if we can find a fucking Gucci down full body suit. Hey, she just showed me the Swiss books. This shit literally looks like Pokemon cards. <laughs> so like, like dollars, bro. So people were walking around with Pokemon with fucking Mewtwo and Squirtle and Bulbasaur and Charizard and Pikachu. Like literally the colors, look right there. Editor, put the pictures of all the Pokemon on the screen. Another thing that they just showed me is that they drink a shot of coffee before every pasta meal. To do what? <laughs> <laughs> to digest. To digest. After you eat cheesy ass pasta, you still need a shot to go shit it out. <laughs> but it's cool because they give it to you. So that way when you eat, you just drink a shot and you go poop right after. <laughs> and then also, show me the thing that you had in your hand. What is that? That's what we call an ICOS. So it's an electric cigarette. An electric cigarette. Like you take this, you put it in, and then you hit it up. And then what? And you smoke it. <laughs> An electric cigarette. And then you, where's your electric cigarette? I don't have one. Let me show, let me see I the regular. To... Everybody smokes out here, bro. <laughs> like before she even said hi to me, she said, do you smoke? And pass me a cigarette. <laughs> it's normal, it's, it's kind of like saying hi, huh? Yeah. Offering someone a cigarette. Oh. The holy grail. And what you do with a pack of cigarettes is you take one out and you put it like this. For good luck. For good luck. Yeah. And that's the last one you can smoke. No, for real? Yeah. Uh, Motherfucker like me would smoke it first. <laughs> I would have just smoked it first. Before you smoke that, you need to wish something. You need to make a wish yeah. every cigarette pack? Yeah. How about you wish <laughs> to stop smoking <laughs> cigarettes? And I, oh! They put it on here too, look. To show you what your insides look like. <laughs> this doesn't happen. <laughs> Are you happy that your insides look like this? No. No, but it's still gonna happen, huh? Yeah. But hey, best of luck to you in life, and I'm gonna be gone in four days, and my lungs are still gonna be clean. I'm not smoking a single cigarette, mom, I promise. She watches my vlogs. <laughs> I'm not smoking cigarettes, ma. Te amo, te quiero mucho. I'm just here for the sightseeing and the birthday party. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, pass me a cigarette. <laughs> We're in the fucking streets of Brooklyn right now. We're about to go get the ski stuff. Look how pretty it is. lie to you that is pretty much everything I did on day one I just bought some ski goggles let me show them How about these that's it the whole fit I just realized I have a big ass jacket already have nice pants I don't need to buy stuff but I want to introduce you guys a jersey that I made for my brand Porfa oh my gosh oh my gosh Get the fuck out of the way, I'm showing them the jersey. Oh my gosh look basically one of my favorite jerseys is the America jersey this one that one is one of my favorite jerseys ever in life ever. So I decided to recreate it in black and pink for Valentine's Day. Porfa, by the way. Look at the back, bro. Look at the detail on this thing. It's not long sleeve, it's short sleeve, but it's really cold outside. So I decided to layer it up. I think it looks sick. These will be out on our Valentine's drop on my brand. This is my brand. Por favor, the brand. Call it Porfa, you feel me? So the name catches on. And uh, one more surprise. I don't only have it in black. I also have it in fucking pink. Valentine's Day, baby. Look at the back. Same shit. Same shit. Same vibes. Look at the detail on this, bro. The logo of America, but with Porfa. Look at that. Same thing for the black one. Let me show you. Look at this beauty. Oh, creaming. But yeah, these will be available on our Valentine's drop and also along with hoodies and shirts. Sick Valentine's drop. I also have some simpler pieces on there for the people that don't like crazy designs. But yes, I'm very excited to be dropping these and that will be it for day one. It is now day two, but I will see you on the next Italy vlog. Day two, I'm gonna be by myself 
I'm gonna be roaming the city. So let's go see what uh, Santi gets into on day two. I will see you hopefully tomorrow or in two days. Pinche avioneta, grandota, gigantesca, culona.